So just like in regular React applications, in Next you can have dropping components that are not page components. So things like a navbar component or a contact form component, which we can then reuse in multiple different page components if we need to. Now these dropping components, we do not place inside the pages folder. We create them somewhere else. And I'm gonna create a new folder in the project root, and that's gonna be called comps, but you can call the folder whatever you want. Comps is just short for components. And what I'm going to do is create a new navbar.js component. So this is going to be for a navbar that sits at the top of multiple different pages. So let me first of all create this. I'm going to call it navbar like so. And then inside, I'm just going to do a very simple template. So first I'll do a nav tag and inside that I'm going to do a div and give this a class name of logo so that later on we can style it if we need to. And then for now we'll do an H1, but again later we'll probably do an image instead. So I'll call this ninja list for now. Then after that div, I'm going to do a series of anchor tags. Now I'm not going to have an href on this anchor tag. And the reason for that is because later on when we start to work with linking between pages, we don't have the href on the anchor tag. We use something else instead and we'll see about that later on. But for now, I just want to create three dummy links. So we'll call the first one home and I'm going to duplicate this a couple of times. I'll change home to about because we do have an about page as well inside the pages folder right there. And then third, we'll do ninja listing and that link is eventually going to link to this index component inside the ninjas folder all right so that's a simple navbar component done now if i wanted to i could just use this drop it in one of these different pages so for example i could go to the home page which is index.js and i could use it inside this template and that's what i'm going to do i'm going to drop it in inside this div above the h1 so navbar I'm going to click on this so it auto imports it up here make sure that happens and then close it off and now if i save this and preview in a browser i'm going to have to go to the home page because that's where we nest it now we can see this navbar component so that works just the same as regular react applications now i'm also going to create another component called footer.js and this is going to be placed ultimately at the bottom of the content so let me create another stateless functional component called footer this time and inside here a very simple template let me just create this so we'll do a div and then inside that div i'm just going to do some kind of paragraph tag that says copyright 2021 so i'll say copyright 2021 ninja list okay so very very simple so now i'm going to come back to the index page and at the bottom of these paragraph tags i'm going to do the footer again i'm going to click on this oops that's the wrong one i'm going to have to manually import the footer so i'm going to duplicate this import at the top and change navbar to footer okay so save this and hopefully this should work yep we see that at the bottom as well so that's how simple it is to create other React components that are not page components, but instead are dropped in to page components and that can be reused. We could reuse those components in multiple different page components if we wanted to. And remember, we don't create those reusable dropping components inside the pages folder. We create them in a separate folder somewhere else in the project structure. I've created a folder called comps to do this, but again, you can call that what you want.